took me like six or seven hours to put this thing together. And as y'all can see, the drawers are not installed because they sent me the same pieces for each side of the drawer. Therefore, I can't put them together. Can't put them together. The LED light doesn't work, which is the whole point of me putting this thing together, y'all. I'm so mad. LED light doesn't work. This part of the drawer came damaged, so I had to put the sticker on it. Y'all, just a whole lot, a whole lot. of It's cute, but it's not working. I did contact the company, and they are working on fixing it, but... Your girl's not happy. vlog i just got done with my bible study i'm about to get up do some laundry i need to wash my bedding so i'm gonna do some laundry and then cook breakfast and get ready for the day i just wanted to pick y'all up and take y'all along with me y'all i've been feeling really good lately like i feel i feel so renewed like i can't explain it like i feel just renewed and like i have my groove back so i'm really happy about that so let me go ahead and get to it y'all get this laundry done so I can put my clothes on and head out and I will pick y'all up a little bit later. By the way, this video is sponsored by Scentbird. Y'all see how I kind of segued that in? <laughs> this video is sponsored by Scentbird. So thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know about Scentbird, you should know. Scentbird is a monthly fragrance subscription, so you can get all of your favorite scents sent to you on a monthly basis. This one that I just sprayed is Skylar Lime Sands. Y'all, I love, 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 this scent it's the perfect scent going into like spring and summer it's definitely a good summer scent to have on hand because it does have notes of coconut and lime and i love y'all i love coconut scents anything coconut i love so this scent is giving so i'm just going to spray a little bit more spray my hair spray my neck spray my wrist y'all know i told y'all the last time i spray my little you know the coochie area just to keep everything flowing and fresh <laughs> okay so once you sign up for your scentbird monthly fragrance subscription they'll send over two to three fragrances for you to try out every month so like i said this one and the white packaging and the packaging is so cute by the way it's giving it always gives so the one in the white um, packaging is the Skylar Lime Sands. This one in the blue is Floral Street Blossom. And then this one in the orange container is Toka Lucia. And I love all three. Like all of these smell really, really good. And I love that you can just pop it right into your bag. So this is the bag that I'm carrying today and it fits right into my bag. Just pop it in, boop, take it out when you need it. So it's perfect for on the go, traveling, 
whatever you need to do just having a perfume at work so you can freshen up the bathroom because it'd be funky in there <laughs> so whatever you need it for so definitely get your hands on it y'all i will have my discount code linked down below in the description box and i'll have each fragrance linked as well so if you guys want to try out the exact scents that i got you can so use my code for 55 percent off of your first month at scentbird it's available in the u.s and canada and thank you again to scentbird for sponsoring today's video i'm going to the movies to go see dune i never saw it when it first came out so i'm going to go see it today i'm really excited about it because it looks really good so i'll let y'all know my thoughts on it when i get out let y'all know if i think it's good or not but yeah that's what we're doing today i just wanted to get out the house and do something for myself because i have been in a little funk um by the way life is still life and i had to change my title y'all i had to change my title because so y'all know if y'all were paying attention like the last i think the last two vlogs were called life life be life in diaries i was trying to do a little spin on living alone diaries but youtube was like no ma'am <laughs> because y'all those two videos so normally per video i know like about how much money i'm gonna make per video but when i change the title on those two videos y'all my pay was like less than half of what it normally is so when i posted the first video i was like okay like that's not normal but i'll give it some time to filter through the youtube algorithm and just see how it does it would have been nice if you put your blanket on me. So yeah, when I posted the second video and I still wasn't getting paid, I was like, oh no, <laughs> we, we got to change this back to vlog so YouTube can pay me my coins. And the I guess the last video that I posted with just a vlog, that one brought in the same numbers as far as how much I get paid as my other ones did so that's why i had to change the titles to vlog because youtube was not youtube was not having it but yeah just know life is still life in y'all <laughs> life is still lifing but i will say that lately i am a little i do have a little bit more of a pep in my step um i feel like i'm kind of getting back to having a purpose and having my drive back so I do feel a little better the hold on now so I do feel a little better these days um because I feel like I have something to look forward to when I wake up and I didn't feel like that before so um so yeah y'all we're getting there slowly but surely I'm just taking one step at a time but like I said I'm slowly getting my mojo back so I'm happy about that and my fast is coming to a close so I told y'all that I was fasting from gaming so that's coming to a close it's almost been a month <laughs> it's almost been a month um and I've been consistent with that so I'm really happy and I will say that I have had a lot of clarity this month so okay let me get out your way because you it seems like you want to go 95 so i'm gonna let you go 95 but um yeah so once this fast is over i'm gonna start another fast and i think i'm gonna just fast from tiktok because i've been on tiktok oh my gosh yeah tiktok i'm gonna fast from tiktok and i'm gonna also fast from watching youtube tv not regular tv because i'll watch my shows here and there but youtube like watching youtube videos and stuff leisurely i need to nip that in the bud because that'd be taking away a lot of my time too so those are the two things i'm gonna fast from for the next month and i think i'm just gonna fast from different things like the rest of this year because like i said it's given me a lot of clarity and i'm looking forward to seeing like what will be revealed to me or what i'll discover from spending that time that I will be doing those things in the word or you know doing things that will move me forward so but anyway y'all let me get down the road and I'll pick y'all up when we get there
the movie was really good i would highly recommend y'all go see it if y'all haven't already there's definitely gonna be a part three and i'm looking forward to it i love movies where the graphics are on point am i going the right way yeah yeah i can go this way the graphics were on point y'all know i live for some good graphics some good fight scenes and it was giving all of that so yeah i would definitely check it out and there's another movie coming out um what was it called oh they're coming out with a a quiet place where it all started or something like that and a quiet place was a really good i guess i have to go this way a quiet place was really good too so apparently they're coming out with a third one that shows like where it all began and all that good stuff so yeah it was definitely worth the money to go see it in theaters but i'm about to head back home y'all and um i'm going the wrong way but it is what it is <laughs> hey you guys good morning i'm on my way to go to walmart and go for a walk get out the house as y'all can tell i am sick i don't know i don't know if it's just allergies this time around or if it's something else and allergies i have no idea but <coughs> i'm gonna go to walmart to get me some medicine and um go for a walk because there's a park right there and just to get some fresh air and get my body moving because i've been in the house for the past week non-stop so <laughs> i need to get out the house i think that'll help this pass a lot sooner but y'all it's the morning time and y'all know like in the morning your throat hurts more i don't know why that is but like in the morning my throat be hurting and i sound like a man and it takes until like mid-morning <laughs> for my voice to get back to normal so yeah i don't know what this is but if it's allergies it is kicking my butt and i'm i'm assuming it may be allergies because the day after i started feeling sick i saw a whole bunch of pollen everywhere so i'm like oh it must be allergy season but the downside of living with family is that when one person gets sick you are going to get sick like that's something i have discovered like if one person is sick in the house i don't care how much you try to avoid it you're gonna get sick <laughs> so i don't know who i thought i was but i'm not gonna go for a walk today like i was having trouble breathing in walmart so i'm not going for a walk because i'm not as strong as i thought i was today so I'm gonna need a little bit more time to build up my stamina, but I'm about to head home and take my medicine before it gets too late, because I need to take it every 12 hours. So I'm about to head home, take a shower, get myself ready for the day, um, fix some breakfast and start getting some work done. today y'all have y'all been hearing about this poop butt and bbl stink and all this foolishness y'all i was sitting here doing some work and i was watching or listening to a video 
and apparently so my sister she's been telling me about this lady on tiktok who's like an esthetician or a waxer and she talks about people coming into their wax appointment with poop butt and i was like what i was like you have to be kidding me y'all so she's been like telling stories back to back and anytime she posts something my sister will like bring it to me on tiktok and people are out here going to their wax appointments with poop butt like y'all i could not i was like what i know none of y'all are doing this like none of my people can it can't be y'all doing this like it has to be some other people's people because i know y'all are not going to wax appointments your OBGYN appointments, any type of appointments where they're going to be in your area with poop butt and stink. Like all these stories are coming out. And then there was some guy that was talking about his experience with some lady who had a BBL and her booty was stinking. I was like, what? <laughs> what is going on out here in these streets <coughs> I was like this cannot be real this cannot be real like y'all I just can't because my thing is I would just be so embarrassed first of all you can smell your own booty you can smell your own booty before anybody can smell your booty first of all so you know if you stink second of all you can feel especially if you have leftover poop some moisture in there and all of the above you can feel that in your crevices in your cracks so you're telling me that people are going knowing full well that they funky going after they go to the gym without freshening up or washing their booties, going to their wax appointments. I would be so ashamed and embarrassed to have another grown woman telling me that I need to wipe my butt or going inside of my cheeks and wiping my butt for me. Like, I just, I can't believe this is a thing. So I hope it's none of y'all doing this, but if it is some of y'all doing this, y'all get it together. Like. It takes nothing nowadays to have some flushable wipes, some feminine wipes with you, even if you're on the go and you have a OBGYN appointment or a wax appointment after work or after the gym or whatever you're doing. Take some flushable wipes, some feminine wipes with you. Wipe your area, take a washcloth with some soap, wipe your area, clean it out good. Make sure everything is dry, smelling good and fresh because that is like, I don't care who you are or who you think you are or whether or not you care like people will talk about you and you do not want to be that person it has to be a thing where people just don't care because they don't they don't really see the person waxing them as like a, a person or someone that would talk about them but I'm like are y'all crazy like I know these ladies as soon as you walk in they know exactly who you are if you coming in appointment after appointment after appointment with poop butt. And I feel like it's so disrespectful to the waxer, the esthetician doing the service for them to have to clean your butt. Like that is to me, that is like the most disrespectful thing ever. And then don't get me started about the women that apparently be going in on their cycle and not taking care of y'all don't get me started but apparently it's a thing if y'all have not heard about this poop butt and this bbl stink stuff go look it up on tiktok because it's a thing apparently and with the bbl thing i don't really pay that any mind because to me i don't care if you have a bbl or not you need to know how to wash your butt and if you have a bbl yes you're gonna have a little bit more in there to get up under but you need to know how to wash your butt like point blank period and if you smell because i think what the ladies were saying that had the bbl they were saying when you first get it done there is a smell because of the incision and all that okay fine but don't be out here doing the do and doing all this stuff knowing that you have a smell like get that under control clean yourself let it heal let everything shift into place and get taken care of 
and keep yourself fresh before you start doing all that stuff so yeah we just we got to do better and i know it's true because like i told y'all when i was working nine to five every single every single nine to five job even my admin assistant job where it was me and just one other lady in the office every single job there are issues in the women's bathroom every single job y'all call center job my last job at corporate family owned nine to five job i know people be nasty because i saw it all the time working nine to five like pee left on the seat poop in the toilet <coughs> menstruation all over the toilet leaving tampons and stuff in the bathroom like the funkiness people going in there and uh, <clears throat> making all kind of noises on the toilet not washing your hands like y'all so all i'm saying is psa we have to do better we need to get it together because there's no reason people should be talking about this on the internet this shouldn't even be a thing in my opinion but anyway i just thought that was so crazy i was like this can't be real this cannot be real but anyway y'all i'm about to fix me like a late lunch early dinner i saw this recipe online for a loaded chickpea sweet potato baked sweet potato situation so i'm gonna make it i'm gonna try it see if i like it so nighttime skincare products y'all i have been watching suits that has been my new show it is so good i'm on season six y'all it's like every single episode has had me hooked so if y'all need something that's like really good to watch i would highly recommend suits that is my show. Mike is getting on my nerves and Rachel is getting on my nerves. If y'all have watched it or if y'all are watching it now, y'all let me know what y'all think about it because it's just so much. It's like every single episode is something going on. So that's what I've been watching nonstop. But I am starting to feel a little bit better. Still looking a little crusty, but I'm feeling better. So. I'll put my lip oil on. I feel like my skin needs to be like super, super hydrated. Because I haven't been doing my skincare all week. My skin is so dry. Make me some tea before I lay down. But yeah, I fell off of um Love is Blind. I don't know what it was. Like after they came back. I just stopped after they came back home I stopped watching it for some reason and I never picked it back up but I heard the reunion was juicy so I have to watch it but yeah I I just fell off of it and didn't pick it back up I know I'm looking super greasy right now but like I said my skin needs the moisture because my skin is so dry super dry and that is it I'm about to I hate taking this for some reason. <laughs> Put my lotion on and I'm gonna make me some tea and get in the bed. 
So I hope that y'all enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to check out Scentbur. I will have the links to the fragrances that I told y'all about earlier linked down below in the description box. And don't forget to use my discount code at checkout. Thank y'all so much for watching. Leave me a like, a comment. Let me hear from y'all. I hope that y'all are doing well. And I will see y'all in the next video.